Hi, welcome to Sketch from Scratch. Today we'll be creating ambient music on an iPad using Pro Tools Sketch. Pro Tools Sketch is a music creation tool on an iPad as a free app from the App Store. It has a nonlinear clip based workflow, so it's perfect for quickly capturing an idea or experimenting until you find something you love. So if you haven't grabbed it already, go ahead and download it. Open the Sketch app and change the name first. I'll set the tempo to 100, then close the settings window. Let's find a beat in the sound library. If this metronome icon is green, you can listen to the sound in the tempo you specified earlier. Let's listen to some loops. I like this loop, so I'm going to drag and drop it. I want to layer a music loop on top of this, so I'll play the current loop and search for a new loop. I feel like I'll get bored if I keep repeating it. So I'm going to edit this loop, tap twice quickly, or select this clip and tap the editor tab below to see the waveform. Let's reverse the entire clip. Lower the pitch a little. Now we have the intro part. Duplicate this scene. I want to add a break between each scene. So I'm going to add a sound effect. Copy this and reverse it. Expand the playback area and turn off the grid mode. Stretch it. These loops in the sound library are from Sonic Drop. Sonic Drop is a monthly program for Pro Tools subscribers. All the sounds included in the Sketch app you can download from Avid Link. Every month we deliver unique sound packs featuring a different artist or sound. Now let's record some audio. If you use an external microphone, select it in the settings. But today we will simply use the built-in iPad microphone. Add a new audio track. Select None for launch timing in the upper right. Now you can start recording immediately when you press the record button. Turn on the microphone button. While playing the scene, you can record each cell by tapping these red buttons. This time I record the sound of this bass.
Inside it's a recorded waveform. First, cut out the parts without sound. Apply fade. Return to grid mode and widen the playback range. Adjust the position. There are nine effects for each track and you can apply effects in detail here. But today we will simply apply reverb with this knob. Next, I want to add some noise, so I'm going to record MIDI. Sketch has built-in play cell and synth cell, each with presets. So we can easily create noise from there. We will record as before. Here you can quantize, but also you can easily move the notes with your finger. Duplicate this scene. Copy the electronic piano. Move to a new track. Lower the pitch of this clip. Now we have a variation. Let's add another beat here. Apply a fade before and after. Again, duplicate this scene and add another bit. For the ending, Duplicate the electronic piano and this loop as well. Remove fade. Sketch has a mixer tab and a global effect tab, so you can mix and apply effects here. Now we have several scenes, so let's organize and arrange them. First, delete the unused track. Rename the scene, change the color, move the scenes to compose the arrangement. Set how many times each scene will be repeated. Let's listen to the whole thing one last time.
I've been creating music using the Pro Tools Sketch app on my iPad, but it can be opened on desktop by sharing it with iCloud. Including the free version Pro Tools intro, open the sketch window in Pro Tools on desktop and edit your songs in more detail in the Pro Tools session. Thank you for watching this video until the end. Enjoy Pro Tools sketch! Thank <laughs> you.